I'm better off buying an aircraft that has everything I want or in spending a little bit more for it or mm -hmm. buying something that has nothing and doing it all myself. Mm -hmm. And the answer is always buy it the way that you want it. And, and there's, it's because it's controlled, right? So you don't have the downtime, which right now we don't even know what that really would be. I think it's like construction. If they tell you it's two months, it's probably going to yeah. be four. Um, if they tell you it's 50 K, it's probably going to be 75. Now th there's a lot of software upgrades, but as people are finding out, buddy, that's got a 530 or 430 GNS unit in the piston world or in the turboprop world, they're finding out they have no support anymore. So if it breaks, you got to replace it. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago, we used to give credits for those units today. It's a deduction. I mean, so that, that's a really good example. Um, you start talking about engines that too gets very confusing so are you getting your engine overhauled are you buying a factory reman in the business jet world i think everybody throws around these terms engine programs and they're not all the same some no. programs are term programs yeah some programs don't provide any coverage for the overhaul some don't provide any coverage for the life limited components which mm -hmm. generates the vast majority of the expenses at the overhaul it's getting really popular now kind of kick the can right mm -hmm. what i mean by that is no program you know 25 year old airplane engines are coming due they either go by time or they do a hot section or a midlife or they don't i mean I, it's kind of crazy what i'm seeing and then they try and value it the same as if it was on a program the entire time mm -hmm. there, there's a reason why we like programs because we can treat an aircraft or the engines as if there's zero time for in perpetuity. That's the best way to look yes. at it. 